Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to count the number of tokens. Why would anyone want to do that? Well, using long prompts, it might be useful to count tokens before sending any content to the model. Let's say that the model can take just 512 tokens as input, and you decide to give it a thousand tokens instead. If you do this, you will get errors in the code. This is why counting the number of tokens might help us block prompts that are larger than what the model can handle. To be able to follow along, you will need to download the projects that we created in the first video of this series. You can find the link in the description. And now, let's start. This is the application that we are going to build in this video. It looks similar to what we have done in the first tutorial. But here, instead of getting the model's response, we are going to show the to token count. Let me show you what I mean. In this example, I have written hello. When I click on the send query button, you can see that I am getting total tokens is equal to one, which means that hello contains just one token. Now, let me write a big sentence to see the difference. In this example, I have a big sentence. It says, Hello, in this tutorial, I will show you how to count the number of tokens. If I click on the send query button, you can see that this sentence contains 17 tokens. Okay, so this is what we are going to be building in this video. Open the activity main.xml file. Here, the design is good. I will make a small change. I will change the ID for the last text view from model response text view to token count text view, hit refactor. This is it. Now close the activity main.xml file and let's move to the coding part. Open the Gemini Pro class. Here we will add a new function called get token count. This function will take two parameters or two, two arguments, the query and the callback to return the response. Inside the method, we will start by instantiating the model using the getModel function. After that, we are creating the content that we will be sending to the model. The content is very simple, it just contains the query. Then we will get the token count using the countTokens method. And finally, to return the token count, we can use the add callback. And as you can see, if everything went well, we are going to send the query and we are going to add a new line where we are going to show the token count. We are done with the Gemini Pro class. Go back to the main activity class and let's change the response text view, this one, from response text view to token count text view. Let's give it the same ID as the name. We need to change it here also. And instead of using the getResponse method, we are going to, get to use the getTokenCount. And let's not forget to change the response text view here also to token count text view. Congratulations! We have finished the coding part also. Now we are ready to test the application. Are you ready? Okay, so the application is running. Let's test it. I will start by uh, doing the same thing as I did in the, in the demo. I will start by giving one word. Let's test hello as an example. Click on the send query button. And as you can see, here I, I got two tokens and I made a small change. In the demo, I didn't show the query. I just gave the total count of tokens in the output. But here I am showing the query as well as the count of tokens. Let's test a bigger sentence to see if the total tokens will increase. Okay, here I have a generic text. Uh, let's test it. We should get more than two tokens this time. Okay, so we got 16 tokens, which means that the application is working. We arrived at the end of this series. I am thinking of making another video about streaming the model's response, but so far I couldn't make it work even though I did exactly what was said in the documentation. I might also consider showing you how to use the embedding model in Android too. 
if that is something you are interested about. Until then, see you next time.